Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Two important agreements regarding Iran's nuclear program have been concluded today. I am very pleased that a joint comprehensive plan of action has been reached between Iran and the E3 plus 3 group of countries. This paves the way for the peaceful resolution of a controversy which has lasted for more than a decade. I welcome this agreement, which will facilitate the IAEA's verification work in Iran. Separately, the IAEA and Iran have agreed a roadmap that sets out a timetable for clarifying past and present outstanding issues by the end of this year. I congratulate Iran, China, France, Germany, Russia, the United Kingdom, the United States, and, and the European Union for reaching this comprehensive agreement following many months of tireless negotiations. The IAEA has also worked hard in the run-up of this moment. Since I took office, it has been a high priority of mine and of the agency to clarify the Iran nuclear issue. The IAEA has been expressing its concerns related to Iran's nuclear program for over a decade. We have spared no effort in trying to engage with Iran to resolve these concerns. In recent months, we have offered the negotiators our advice and assistance to make the new agreement technically sound. The IAEA will be asked to monitor and verify the nuclear-related measures set out in the agreement. I will report to the Board of Governors on this request. The IAEA's highly skilled staff have been carrying out verification activities in Iran for many years. They are on the ground every day. Since early 2014, the agency has been monitoring and verifying Iran's undertakings in relation to the joint plan of action agreed in late 2013. We have gained considerable experience of working in Iran, which will serve as an important basis for the tasks ahead. Our workload will increase under joint comprehensive agreement. I will ask our Board of Governors to make the necessary resources available. I welcome the decision to implement the additional protocol by Iran. This is a very important step forward. The additional protocol is a powerful verification tool that provides the agency with more information and access right. Iran joins over 120 other countries in which the agency is already implementing this instrument. The additional protocol enables us, over time, to provide credible assurance to the world that all nuclear material in a state remains in peaceful activities. With Iran's full cooperation in implementing its safeguard agreement and additional protocol, we hope that in time we will be able to provide such an assurance to Iran. The joint comprehensive agreement also includes additional measures that Iran will implement in order to provide further information about the peaceful nature of its nuclear program. Ladies and gentlemen, the roadmap which I have signed with Iran's Vice President, Mr. Salehi, is part of the framework for cooperation between the agency and Iran. The roadmap provides defined steps for clarifying all outstanding past and present issues 
over the next few months. With the cooperation of Iran, the agency will be able to establish an understanding of the whole picture concerning issues relating to possible military dimensions to Iran's nuclear program. We will then report our assessment to the IAEA Board of Governors by December 15, 2015. Ladies and gentlemen, the stalemate over Iran's nuclear program has dragged on long enough. The IAEA stands ready to undertake the necessary monitoring and verification activities and to clarify the outstanding issues.